spill it. <laughs> I spilled it everywhere. Good thing the kitten is that's at my feet is at my feet and under the table because uh, yeah, I spilled hot water. I wouldn't want to spill that. So hello and welcome to Dommy Tries This. I hope you brought your cuppa. <laughs> um, we have a way too much water and milk in here. But this is another one of those old coffee mugs that my daughter found. Again, I think this one is close to 20 years old. It's much older. See, it's a unicorn. I used to have two of them. I think one of them broke. This one does have a very tiny chip, so I won't be using it very often. But that is the mug for today. And in the overfull mug, I really did overfill it, is the Celestial Seasonings Sleepy Time Vanilla Herbal Caffeine Free Tea. This is what the box looks like. And this has chamomile, spearmint, lemongrass, Natural French vanilla flavor, blackberry leaves, hawthorn, orange blossoms, tilia flowers, and rosebuds. I don't know what a tilia flower is. I may have to look that up. And like most uh, celestial seasonings, it comes in these little sachets. They have no strings or anything to them. And they are double attached. I took and just put one in there. We're going to try just one and see if we can impress ourselves with just one. This is going to be a short video, though, so we'll have to see. Anyway, so that is our tea. Let me go ahead and see if I can actually give this a sip and clear some of this mess <laughs> and not spill it on anybody. It smells good. Oh, that's nice. It's not very strong yet, but I'm getting a little bit of the lemon and a little bit of the spearmint. Not really getting any of the orange or, well, I guess I'm getting a touch of the vanilla. But anyway, so far that's good. That's a really nice light tea. All right, so today is one of our bonus videos where we open a uh, indie brand. Uh, this is a brand that was suggested by my middle daughter. Um, I've been trying to play around with glitters. She knows I've been having trouble with glitters. She tried a couple of the glitters that I've tried and said the same thing that I did. They need help. Anyway, I have managed to get those glitters to work since, but I went ahead and purchase something from one of the brands that she suggested. Actually, this will be the second one that I purchased based on her suggestions. But before I open that, I'm going to open this box that got deposited on my table mid-filming of a video you're going to see after this. So this look is all from the other video. However, <laughs> this box got put down before this. Anyway, yeah. The way we film is crazy. My bonus videos almost always go up the day of, the day that I make them. So we've got a coffee mug in here, as we can tell. I'm gonna take that out. <laughs> this is cute, this is cute. She told me about this coffee mug and I told her it was cute. So this is for my oldest daughter and it says Game of Meows. That's adorable. That's adorable. Can't wait to use that one. It's a little black and white kitty. And it used the Game of Thrones text. That's cute. All right, so Sunday, thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. She apparently has like a very long list of coffee mugs for me. So that, that little space down there is gonna get filled up very, very quickly. All right, so the actual reason for this video is this package. I did slide it open to hopefully make it a little easier to pull stuff out. This is from King, King, Q-I-N-G, so hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, King Beauty in China. And um, my middle daughter really, really, uh, recommended them. So I went ahead and picked up a couple of things. I think they're both palettes. And she has very, very nicely, this is really very firm and sturdy for protective, protecting the stuff. Alrighty, so pulling this out. 
yeah, I picked up two palettes. She has in here a little card that says, thank you. King, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Find the trending palettes at King. Please share your shopping experience on Facebook or tag us with your makeup looks on Insta. For any help you need, please contact support at. So, and they have all of those, but that's the cute card. Thank you for the card. I like keeping those little cards. So I have two palettes. I have the Dream Purple Pressed Powder Glitter Eyeshadow Palette. I don't know what the Delancey part says, but there's the cover. Once again, tackle it with our knife. One of these days, I have to get a real box cutter or something. Of course, I think my daughter's afraid I'll hurt myself. I don't blame her. Alrighty, so that's in a sleeve. Can I get that out of the sleeve? Come on out of the sleeve. So again, we are looking at that kind of cover. Oh, that is beautiful. It comes with a mirror on the palette which is nice oh wow that's gorgeous look at that that is beautiful there are no shade names uh the ingredients are on the back although it's very light to read but it's on the back we will go ahead and start with our first row we will go this way these are pretty let me let me get a wipe i'm gonna need a wipe this is beautiful these colors are gorgeous and i think i picked up one of them was actually on sale so i think that's why i picked up two. Oh, i hate to mess up the pretty imprints oh okay that glitter is very soft all right so top row nice Ooh, here comes a glitter. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so they're looking a little dusty on the skin and um, that's not necessarily gonna, that way they're gonna show up on my eyes. I did recently have a palette, it's gonna be um, coming up at a review, that it showed up a little dusty on my skin and ended up showing dust, up dusty on my eyes. I could finagle it. Um, however, I have found that um, not the way things swatch is not always how they show up for some reason. Uh, for example, I got some really inexpensive, that is a gorgeous glitter. I got some really inexpensive um, NYC or something palettes and... Uh, I made those work beautifully and they didn't show up on my skin very well at all when I swatched. Okay, so we're doing the second row now. These have some gorgeous colors. These feel beautifully soft. Even the um, glitters feel kind of smooth. If, I, if you, how to describe it? I want to say buttery, but it's not quite buttery. It's just, it's very soft. So this is the next row. That little bit is from another palette. Now that purple is showing up pretty true to what it is in the pan. That is nice. It's just a touch lighter. And there, oh wow. That is gorgeous. I'm already in love. I'm already loving this one. This is beautiful. Beautiful. I'm getting glitter everywhere. I'm taking, I'm gonna be like trying to remove glitter for weeks. <laughs> All right, final row. Okay, there's one that feels a little, a couple feel a little harder. Most of these feel very, very soft and almost silky. Oh, wow. interesting i'm saying interesting because they seem to 
Look what it's doing to my finger. I don't know. Um, there is some inconsistency in performance there, I think. Uh, these all uh, appear to be mattes, and you can see this matte is really nice, this matte is really nice, but this one came out kind of faded, and this one came out definitely faded and dusty. Um, several of these shimmers are looking really good. This matte looks really good. So, um, it's going to be interesting to see it in action. It really is. All right, so I'm gonna clean this off and we'll take a look at the other one, which I believe is an all glitter palette. Yeah, not much staying powder power for most of those. I'm not expecting staying power for the, the glitters, but for the eyeshadows you would hope. But yeah, there's not much staying power in there. I'm just having to remove all that glitter. All right, we'll let that dry down. That is the first palette. My daughter did say that hers took a little while to get there. I was So I was actually not expecting this for probably another month. So I'm really pleased. It actually didn't take all that long to get here this time. Uh, maybe hers took longer because she was in the middle of the, uh, you know, Corona uh, was still pretty active when she was, um, well, it's still pretty active. But I mean, the lockdowns and things were still in play when uh, she ordered so that might have had something to do with it. The lockdowns have been pretty much up for shortly after I ordered this, I think, if not if not right around the same time. So mine actually got here, like, I think within a month, I think. And that's pretty decent coming from China. I've had stuff from China take two to three months. So that's the first palette. It's beautiful. The second palette is called Dreaming of Glitter. So as you imagine, I love this. As you imagine, it's going to be a glitter palette. The unicorn is kind of an embossed thing. That's interesting. And again, we have a mirror. And I'm probably going to keep that cover. Wow, but there's her glitters. So this is completely glitters, all of it. It has all the colors I would ever need. And it has all the information on the back, high pigment color, um, revolution way, revolutionize the way you apply glitter, say goodbye to the mess and hello to extravagant application. With 18 colors to choose from, your looks will never get bored, no glue necessary, easy to use by your fingers or your favorite flat brushes. So they're specifically saying if you're going to use a brush, you need to use a flat brush. So that's fine. Uh, my daughter said something about there being beeswax and stuff. Okay, so this has mineral oil, polythylene, melamine, an epoxy resin. She said something about beeswax, and I'm not seeing beeswax, but maybe I have to look for it. Let's go ahead and glitter up. So we have Sweet Spot. Which is a little hard and not coming up as well as I'd hope. Bubble gum. Also not coming up as well. Ah, I think you may have to remove. Yeah, once you get through the top layer, they definitely come up better. Sun kiss, which is that orange. Again, I'm having to remove the top layer to get through in there. And magic wand. which is being stubborn. Okay, so sweet spot. Bubble gum. Oh, that's nice. Sun kiss. Magic wand. They're definitely glitters. Let's do the next four. So based on these, what I'm finding is I'm having to really get in there and press down and get the top layer off. We have Violet Fantasy. We have my husband coughing. We have Green Tea. Ooh. Drunk Love. And Apollo. Wow. 
Okay, so. Violet Fantasy. Green Tea. Oh, wow. Drunk Love. Holy crap. And Apollo. Okay, so this group is acting a little better than the first group. Probably because I know what the hell I need to do now. Those are very pretty. They are also adhering to my fingertips a little bit. <laughs> but like I said, I'm having to get in there and really press. All right, next. Some of these are multicolored glitters. They're not, in fact, yeah, only a few of them appear to be single color. All right, so next we have fireworks. Watermelon. They feel interesting in the fact that they feel kind of hard on top, but as you get rid of that top part, they seem to soften up. It might be a warming up to your fingers kind of thing. Candy jar. And pumpkin car. Okay. Fireworks. Well, that is actually really pretty. Watermelon. Candy jar. And pumpkin car. I am noticing something that she mentioned in that they feel a little stickier than glitters I'm used to. Which probably has to do with the resin and all of that stuff in there. And again, they are kind of adhering to the fingertips, so I'm having to remove them before I move on. Next, I'm going to do three and three. We have Ice Queen, Galaxy, and Phoenix, which is an interesting color. I would expect it to be more orange than pink, but it's very pink. So, Ice Queen, Galaxy, ooh, and Phoenix. Next, I have Baby Blue, Venus Fort, and Welcome Party. So, Baby Blue, oh, that's pretty. Venus Fort, and Welcome Party. That one didn't come up as well. But all the others are, other than these first ones that I was didn't realize you have to really get in there. But those are some really nice colors. This is gonna be interesting to try out and see if indeed that it doesn't need any kind of um, uh, glitter glue or anything like that for me. My daughter's been using it. I think she has had no issues with it that she's enjoyed using it. So that is the two palettes that I picked up. Like I said, they weren't that expensive. The shipping wasn't even that bad. I was really kind of surprised. I'm really looking forward to playing with them. I'm always looking forward to playing with new stuff. But that is it for the day. What do you think of the palettes? Let me know what you think down below. Would you purchase either one of them? So like I said, that is it for the day, and I hope you like what you've seen. And if you do like what you've seen, I hope you will subscribe. If you subscribe, please hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. I currently upload two days a week, Monday and Thursday. But we do have bonus videos like today's where I open indie brands or unusual brands that nobody's heard of before or seen. I try. And I also... We, trying to not do as much of the indie brands but as you can probably tell that's not working out so well at any rate in addition to indie brands my son opens his my geek box every month and his my geek box for this month is on its way hopefully you guys will get to see it soon after this one within a week of after this one and we also do um gardening videos or we have done gardening videos those will be done 
Next year, this year, we're taking a break. We've had a few issues with it, so we're just gonna try to back off and let things go. If you send anything, well, that is also usually open as an indie, as it as an indie, it is an indie. <laughs> if you send anything, if I didn't stumble at least once, it wouldn't be me, right? Uh, that is also opened as a bonus video, unless you don't want to, so let me know if you would rather it be private. Okay. And yeah, so if you want to see any of those, you'll have to have that bell click because they do not go up on regular upload days. If you're part of my notification squad, you'll want to check both your bell and your subscription to make sure they're both still active. Never know. I haven't seen any problems, but you never know. It takes one minute, less than a minute. Just take a look. Everything's still active? Fine, move on. If you choose not to subscribe, well, after this, fumbling around like this, I, I think I would understand. Just a little bit. However, I do hope you'll come back again. And if you do come back again, don't forget to bring your cup of tea. Alrighty, so we've sat here for a good 20, 25 minutes. Let's go ahead and give her a sip and then we'll be on our way. It smells beautiful. Oh, that's a good tea. All right, that is a good tea. I'm getting the vanilla. I'm getting the spearmint. I'm getting a touch of citrus. I'm not getting anything specific, so I'm not, I can't say I got lemon or I got orange, but I did get a touch of citrus. Um, this is a beautiful tea. This, I highly recommend this one if you can find it. That is Sleepy Time Vanilla by Celestial Seasonings. Really nice tea. And the fact that it did it on one bag is also really, really nice. Oh, that's good. That's good. All right. So that is it. Hope you have a good one. Bye.